Dalam Sri uh, Desi Fong said it's very true on uh, in the last uh, 55 years the federal government have failed us in uh, education in health and in infrastructure now I foresee in the next 55 years the federal government will continue to fail us unless Sraukin wake up lead by what uh, Dato uh, David Teng say the government must pack up the government must pack up the government must lead lead the people to ask for what we are entitled to or our rights that the government must do the state government of South must do. Now, if we talk of option, what option do we have now? We have many options, many things to do. But how do you force the issue? How do you force the issue to get the federal government to do what we want them to do? To give us full autonomy or autonomy or whatever we ask for. If we don't give us the autonomy, what do we do? We, Sarawak and Sabah should partner or gang up and kick Malaya out. Thank you. Uh, when you talk about equality, this is no, 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 It's not a question, it's a statement. And for the uh, speaker uh, thank you. To, to give the comment. Would you like to comment before I ask my question? Uh, when you talk about equality early on, I'd like to ask uh, what kind of equality were you talking about? Because when you mentioned VKLU wanted to change the constitution and amend clause 2 early on, by doing that, you can actually achieve equality among Sarawak, uh, Sabah and Malaya. Now, to my mind, how could we achieve equality no matter what you do when there are 222 parliamentary seats and we only given 31? So when you talk about equality, we should rightly get 74 each. Otherwise, there is no equality. That's number one. Number two, when you talk about equality, do we want to be equal? when it comes to wealth, it comes to oil and gas resources, which we rightly know Sarawak has much more than them. Do you want to be equal and give them equal share, more share? So, number three, when you talk about equality in terms of religious freedom, do you want Sarawak to be equal to Malaya? So when you talk about equality, what exactly do we talk about? We can't must mention the word equality, assume that everything else is the same equality, you know? So that's number one, question number one. Number two, when you mention about referendum, I understand that in the last Dewan Undangan, our party president, Dr. Sin, mentioned about referendum. And also the Secretary General also mentioned about referendum. Now, I, my question is, now, if Dr. Sim is not here, so maybe I'd like to pose a question to Dr. David and my SUPP member. Now, how do we get this referendum ordinance in place so we can better assert our rights when it comes to the time when we need to? You know, without that referendum ordinance, I find that we can be talking and talking and talking for years and you have nothing to assert. Thank you. Okay. If you want to have a referendum, you can have one. But will the federal government accept the result? Barcelona or Catalonia had a referendum. But the Spanish government just ignored. So, 
That's why I said, before you even proceed with the referendum, you have to do a lot of solid thinking. And say, what is it that you want to put across to the people? What is it? Right? You just can't have a referendum and say yes or no. The federal government can just ignore that. They might even declare an emergency and you end up in the worst situation. Right? Number two, on your point about equality, I never believed that we can be equal to Malaya. No way. We can never be equal to the federal government. I said in my talk just now, you know, they never want to give us any sort of equality. Only Tun Razak make one passing remark about equality. The rest of it, they have everything. They just give you something. And the thing that the little bit that they give you, they don't fulfill. So you are left in the doldrums. That's where we are now. So when Nasri Adinan came along, we talked, and he said, okay, you know, you're going to do this. So I said, good, go ahead. And we must pursue it until we reach a favorable conclusion. That's my view now. From a pragmatic standpoint. Because if you want to have a referendum, yes, you can have a referendum. But will the federal government recognize the result and accept it? Or will the federal government do it like the Spanish did? They just wallop the fellows who won the referendum. So that's the big issue. And I repeat, before you plunge into a referendum, think carefully. 